Okay, on this question, it says the researcher was interested in comparing the heights of women in two different countries. Independent, simple random samples of nine women from country A and nine women from country B yielded the following heights in inches. Okay, find a 90% confidence from U1 minus U2, the difference between the mean height of women in country A and the mean height of women in country B. What does the confidence interval suggest about the population means? Okay, so notice that it says that we're supposed to do a difference between means and it says independent. So I'm just helping you identify the key words to know where to go on your calculator. So I'm gonna go two independent means, right? Because we have two groups. We have country A and country B, two different countries. And we're talking about uh, the mean height of women in country A and the mean height of women in country B. So two means, and they're independent. So two independent means. So what do you do? So you use two sample T test or two sample T interval. In our case, two sample T interval because we're doing a confidence interval, not a hypothesis test, right? So we're not doing a test. We're doing an interval. We're going to do two sample T interval. So the first thing to do, of course, is to put the data in L1 and L2. So this is L1. This is L2. Do that first. And then go to stat over to tests, down to a two sample T interval. Where is that? That's way down. Two sample T interval, that's a zero. It's after nine, it's like a 10. Two sample T interval, way down there. And when you do, uh, then it'll right away say, what's your input? Sorry, I'm just getting scribbly over here. Oh, there you go. Input, data, or stats. You're going to choose data and enter because you just put data in L1 and L2, right? And then that goes, okay, what's list one? That'll be L1. What's list two? That'll be L2. What's frequency one? That'll be one. What's frequency two? That'll be two. And what's the C level? 0.9. Cooled, we always say no, and then calculate it. Hit enter. And when you do, the output you'll get, um, I got the following interval. I got negative, right at the top with the parentheses, negative 4.217, comma negative 0.1612. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you go down to the notes down here, the meaning of a confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2, and that's what they said right uh, here, mu1 minus mu2. What does it mean? Well, it depends what you get. If you get all negative, that's what we got. Zero is not included, which implies confidence that mu one's less than mu2. There we go. Zero not included. Mu one, it means mu one is less than mu two. And what's mu one? L one, mu one, country A, meaning country A is less than country B, right? Mu one is country A, mu two is country B, right? Over here, L one is country A, L two is country B. This means A is less than B. Does that make sense? Because we got negative answers, meaning if you take A minus B, which is what we did, mu one minus mu two, we got negative answers. So how do you subtract two things and get a negative answer? If I say, hey, I just subtract two numbers, only, only if the second number is bigger, right? That'd be negative two, wouldn't it? Right? If the, if the second number is bigger, when you subtract two things, you get an answer that's negative. It means the second number is bigger. It means the first number is smaller. That's why it means A is less than B, you see? When you get negative interval, both negative, right? That's, that's on the number line. Here, let me do one more thing for you. That's on the number line. Here's like zero. Here's negative um, 0.1612. Here's negative 4.217. It goes from here to here. It's this negative territory. Zero is over here, right? These are both negative. We're saying the difference, A minus B, is some negative number 
between negative four and negative 0.16. So zero is not, that's why we say zero is not in that interval. Zero is not included. So we're saying the difference between A and B, country A and country B, the average difference is somewhere, is a negative number somewhere between negative four and negative 0.16, somewhere in this interval. So zero is not included. And how do you get a negative answer unless the second number is bigger? When you subtract A minus B, mu one minus mu two is what the calculator just did. Um, and it comes out negative. That means the first number is smaller, second number is bigger. It means A is smaller than B. All right, so, so where does it say that here? Let's go through it. Uh, the confidence interval includes only negative values. Yeah, that's true. Which suggests that the two popular missions might be equal. No, less than, no. That's, that's, that's baloney. Let's keep going. Confidence interval includes only negative values. Yeah, which suggests that the mean height of country A is greater. No, A is less. No. The confidence interval includes zero. No, zero not included. No. Confidence interval does not include zero. Yeah, that's true which suggests that the mean height of women A might be equal? No, A is less. It's none of these. Look at that. That was a tricky one, huh? They're all wrong because it means A is less than B and zero is not included because we get two negative answers in our confidence interval. So there we go.